Hi there, I'm Sadia Mayat. I'm from Port Elizabeth in the Eastern Cape, and I feel very strongly about the use of science for the betterment of society. I am a very bad at decisions, so I have been all over the place at UCT. I started in medicine, I switched to actuarial science, I then switched to business science analytics, before finally ending up in the science faculty where I played around with maths, mathematical statistics, computer science, and I also did a bit of economics. Eventually, I ended up with a BSc in Mathematical Statistics. As you can probably tell, this wasn't a very deliberate decision and I definitely had very little context on what stats could offer me or where it could take me besides this vague idea of data science. But I enjoyed it, it was nothing like the stats you do in high school. And I was good at it, so I stuck with it. I then did my honours in statistics, which I absolutely loved. It was challenging, the class was great, and stats first started to take shape as a career path for me. This was when I was first exposed to operations research, which is a part of stats which looks at using advanced analytics to support decision making. So to support any type of decision maker, such as the government, for example. When I finished the first year of my master's, the coursework component, I had to choose a thesis topic. At this point, I was already sure that I wanted to do something that had real world impact. So the best shot I had was to work with Associate Professor Sheetal Silal, a leading infectious disease modeler who is also the director of the research unit MASHA, the Modeling and Simulation Hub Africa. I also wanted to work with Associate Professor Ian Dervak, whose specialty is optimization. So at the start of 2020, I was working on a topic which looked at optimally placing mobile health clinics around South Africa in order to help with the efforts to eradicate malaria. This involved modeling the spread of the disease under Sheetal's guidance and optimizing the placement of the clinics under Ian's guidance. When COVID-19 hit China, Sheetal immediately asked me, don't you want to switch topics to COVID? And I feel really silly now, but at the time I was like, oh, it'll probably blow over. I doubt it's going to be a big issue. But then suddenly COVID was in South Africa and we were on the brink of a lockdown. And I thought, well, why not? Let me see. Let me ride this wave and see what might happen. So I joined Sheetal's Masha team. Um, and her Masha team is part of the South African COVID-19 Modeling Consortium, which is a multidisciplinary group which was formed to support the South African government through the COVID-19 pandemic, primarily by modeling the spread of the disease. As a result, last year is just a blur of late nights and exhaustion. But the really cool part is that our work was used by the National Department of Health, National Treasury and all levels of government. And my new thesis topic ended up contributing directly to the consortium's main model, the National COVID-19 EPI model. I also built an optimization layer over their model. So my topic basically looked at how can we optimally shift ICU patients or beds between the different districts of South Africa in order to minimize the loss of life due to the non-availability of ICU beds. So basically, when hospitals run out of capacity, which we know has happened quite a lot, especially in the second wave, how can we anticipate that and how can we shift things around so that we can avoid people dying as a result of that running out of capacity? So it's really, really interesting. I hope this shows you that as much as stats can get you a very cool corporate job or industry job, if you're interested in research or academia, then your options are actually far broader than that. And especially if you're interested in making an impact or serving more than just corporate interests, then STATS is a really good option for you. If you think about it though, STATS is used in literally all quantitative research. Every field uses it. Finance, medicine, ecology, anything. So as a statistician, you have a really great choice in terms of what field you want to go into. So even if you're not interested in you know, helping people, you're not interested in infectious disease modeling per se, stats is still a really good option and I would still encourage you to consider it um, as an option. Personally, I'm hoping to do a PhD in a topic similar to my master's and I really, really hope that my story can be of value to you as you make your decisions.